Hi everyone! Today in Matlin Logic we have a math episode, but please give it a chance. We will learn something really useful. How to quickly check the visibility of numbers. Not sure if 172 people can create 6 event groups, or if 1344 is divisible by 8. We will do it for all single digit dividers. Let's go! As a formality, each natural number is of course divisible by 1. Divisibility by 2 is also simple. It's a yes for even numbers, so those ending with even digits. 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8. Now it will be more interesting. Divisibility by 3. From school you might know a neat method to sum up the digits and check if this sum is divisible by 3. But we can improve this method easily. Let's see. Let's take number 3,066,493. We sum up the digits. 3 plus 0 plus 6 plus 6 plus 4 plus 9 plus 3. It's 9, 19, 28, 31. Sum 31 is not divisible by 3, so the whole number isn't either. Quite quick, but we can do better than that. When adding those digits, you intuitively ignore 0 because it makes no difference on the result. But we can do the same for 3, 6 and 9. They also make no difference if sum is divisible by 3 or not. So in this example we ignore 3, 0, 6, 6, 9 and 3. And we are left with just 4, which is not divisible by 3. Nothing to count. That was a convenient example, so let's see another. 6,129,702. We ignore 6, 9 and 0. We are left with 1 plus 2 plus 7 plus 2. So it's 12, divisible by 3. We can go even further with shortcuts. You see 1 and 2 here. You can either treat it as 12 or immediately sum it up to 3. Either way you get a number divisible by 3, so again you can ignore that in the sum. Let's proceed. A number is divisible by 4 if its two-digit ending is divisible by 4. So we are interested in only two last digits. If we see, for example, 32 at the end, which is divisible by 4, then the whole number is divisible as well. And similarly, numbers ending with 94 are not divisible by 4, because 94 isn't. You can quickly divide small number by 4 by dividing it by 2 twice. If that's any problem for you, then you can just check divisibility by finding the distance to nearest multiple of 20. For example, 68 is 8 from 60. This distance 8 is divisible by 4, so 68 is also. 94 is 6 away from 100, and 6 isn't divisible by 4, so 94 isn't either. Now for change, something super easy. A number is divisible by 5 if it ends with 5 or 0. That's it. For divisibility by 6, we'll take advantage of the fact that 2 times 3 is 6. So if number is divisible by 2, and by 3, it is also divisible by 6. And so we immediately see that 1115 is not divisible by 6 because it's an odd number. 1392 is even, so we check divisibility by 3. Ignore 3 and 9, and we are left with 1 plus 2. In other words, even numbers divisible by 3 are also divisible by 6. All and only those numbers. Divisibility by 7. 7 is a nightmare for multiplying and dividing. There's no quick method that works on different numbers. When I'm to multiply or divide something and I see 7 at the end, it makes me sick immediately. So let's quickly move on to number 8. Here, similarly to 2 and 4, we'll look at the last digits. But this time we have to check if 3 digit ending is divisible by 8. It's not that simple, but I have a small improvement. Divide the 2 digit ending by 4, then look at hundreds digit. If both are even or both are odd, then the whole number is divisible by 8, otherwise it isn't. It might be weird to explain, but it's easy to use. Let's see, 1344. 44 by 4 is 11, odd number, and we have 3 hundreds, also odd. So, both are odd, then 1344 is divisible by 8. Second example, 30,628. 28 by 4 is 7. 
and we have 600. One is odd, one is even, so the whole number is not divisible by 8. Of course, if the ending is not divisible by 4, then the whole number is not divisible by 4 or 8. Divisibility by 9 is similar to that of 3. If sum of digits is divisible by 9, then the whole number is also, but this time we can ignore only zeros and nines when summing up the digits. Have a look at two quick examples. And those are all single digit dividers. I hope you like those methods and they will be useful for you. Oh right, there's one more single digit number I didn't cover. Zero. So a number is divisible by zero when...